um, uh, to tell the judge to uh, get a, an extraction order for him. So again, it's, it's very frustrating uh, because uh, how long do we still have to wait just to get like, a solid confirmation of anything? You know, I mean, Weber's, this is Weber's third refusal um, extraction order. I don't even know uh, when that will occur. So I think, I don't know, I guess, I, I know that we're putting enough pressure, but uh, it's very, very difficult to get that pressure to, to the right authorities um, so that they could hear um, what the people want and what my family want to happen in this case. And then I know you guys actually put out a statement yesterday after Gascon was apparently talking about the case and saying he's been in contact they've, they've been uh, the attack happened 10 days and just what, yeah. what do you think of what he said well first of all he's got his information wrong if he's trying to appease the people appease my family for his own political and personal game then he might as well should have looked at the background of our case first before um, giving out any statements that were obviously false he said that the incident occurred 10 days ago when in fact it's it has been more than a month um, <laughs> since the incident happened and um, he also mentioned that he's in close contact with the family no <laughs> I think he's only contacted my parents once but that doesn't equate to close contact um, and not only that you know I mean we're not even hearing anything from uh, the defense attorneys, you know, from him, Ceballos, again, like, we don't even know if they're going to be here. So, yeah, no, the the statements that he made yesterday were completely false, like, <laughs> very false. And it's obvious that he's doing that for his own political game. So. Mm -hmm.